Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Skyhawk IMC6371 Mini Beer Bone System. What's included in this package is a motherboard manual, an installation CD and a number of cables, a serial ATA, two IDE and floppy. You'll notice that all of these are meshed. Also included is a power cable and the bare bone system. At the front top is an external five and a quarter inch drive bay. Also an external three and a half inch drive bay. There's a horizontal blue light which spans the whole front and below that there is an LED. Now this LED for the most part just shows a color. You can pick a color and also the time. You can change the time and also change the color. Right here at the bottom right is the power button, reset button, hard drive activity LED, and the power LED. And to the bottom left is a gate which opens to reveal two USB ports, a microphone and headphone jack, and the firewire port. There are ventilation holes on the left and the right. At the back of the case, at the very top, is an included 200 watt power supply. Right here is where the power cable gets connected, and here are the two expansion slots. There are three thumb screws, one right here, here, and here. And down here, there are a number of connections, which include the keyboard, mouse, video, COM port, four USB ports, a Firewire port, onboard LAN, and audio. There isn't a lot of room inside this case, however, it is organized so you can fit one external five and a quarter inch, one external three and a half inch, and one internal three and a half inch. That's for the hard drive. And let me show you how that works. Here at the front, of course, at the very top, is where the five and a quarter inch drive gets installed. Below that, right here on this tray, is where the external three and a half inch drive gets installed. There are three screws that you need to remove one right here and two more right here and this whole thing is actually on rubber mounts and you just pull it out tip it up like so and the hard drive would get installed on this tray right here I mentioned earlier that it does include a 200 watt power supply now there are two standard four pin Monix connectors as well as two floppy. This motherboard supports the Intel Pentium 4 socket 478 CPU and is based on the Intel 865G chipset. At the front right here are the two IDE connectors and the floppy is back right there. Also there are two serial ATA connectors. This board takes two gigabytes of dual channel DDR memory and also has an 8x AGP slot and a PCI slot. There are also three fan headers, one right here, here, and here. And there are two main power supply connections. The 4-pin is right here, and the 20-pin is right here. Within the advanced BIOS features is where you set the first boot, second boot, and third boot device, and so on. Within the advanced chipset features is where you can go to adjust the memory settings. You can do a manual setting or buy SPD for the memory. Also at the bottom here you've got a number of onboard video options. Within the integrated peripherals is where you enable or disable or change the onboard features that come with this motherboard. The PC health status shows the system temperature, the CPU temperature, the fan speeds and all of the voltages. And finally, the overclocking area, frequency voltage control. Now, there's not a whole lot of overclocking options in this particular BIOS, but there are a few. You can set the front side bus to go up to 132, and you also have a memory voltage, which can be increased to 3 volts.
These small form factor PCs are ideal for the home, office, or especially LAN parties because they are so compact. Now if you're getting a really good graphics card, which I would recommend because the onboard on this is really poor at first person shooter games. But if you get one, a word of warning. The AGP slot on this particular motherboard is next to the case. That means you cannot get a video card that takes up two expansion slots. But overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can pop into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.